this weekend only, come on down to Grizzly's Phallic Roofing and Sprinkler Emporium, where with every purchase of each phallic roof, you'll receive not one, not two, not three, but four free sprinklers. Leaky habitat shelves are not included. <laughs> Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome back to Pimp My Habitat where we take your submitted crappy tats and turn them into fabby tats. Uh, today we have a grizzly bear exhibit, our first grizzly bear in fact, and it's by Coco Otter. Thank you very much for your submission. Coco Otter stays that this is a habitat for two grizzly bears, features a waterfall feeding a river, covered viewing area and a cave shelter. Currently having issues with the cave not being registered as a complete shelter, the bear sleeping in the wrong spot causing it to be boxed up, and cooling issues. Uh, this is my first attempt at going into a lot of extra detail for a habitat beyond just meeting the animal needs. I'm happy with the entry sign, probably should have changed it to Grizzly Falls. I like the covered viewing area but can't seem to attract the bears to wander away from the middle of the habitat. They say the covered viewing structure for the habitat uh, feels like a struggle when it comes to roofing, uh, even more difficult by it being curved at one end. Appreciate the help and feedback. Thanks for being an awesome YouTuber. Thank you. So first of all, let's have a look at what they mean by sleeping in the wrong spot because he's currently demonstrating very nicely for me uh, that we're sleeping up here. Let's just bring the camera around. Look at that, wedged himself. Okay, so um, let's have a look at some essentials then. First of all, I love the waterfall and I love the idea of the cave going right around the back uh, that you can see here. And that's a really great idea. Like you say, it's not greatly implemented, but I think the idea is fantastic. Uh, lo love the little uh, bridge across there, something I actually forgot in my last one of these. And uh, overall, love the shape of the dis uh, shape of the exhibit with the middle coming in here. But like you say, yeah, little trouble here with the roof. I definitely think we could do some to that. I think not only is it not really great here, um, I think this roof lends itself to more of a sort of Mexican vibe, sort of like El Paso kind of thing, and I think really we should really sort of embrace the North American uh, homeland of the grizzly bear, I think. So yeah, we think to need to fix this, uh, uh, this shelter, so let's have a look. One way to check this, if we come into our overlays and click uh, uh, Verly himself, uh, herself, excuse me, we click Verly herself, and then click up here to Habitat. It'll show us traversable area, and as you can see at the moment, um, Verly can't actually make it into most of this um, this habitat, and that's usually because he's just she's just a bit of a white girl. So what we need to do is take these rocks, spread them out a little bit, and uh, hopefully we can make it so that she's able to access that area. Okay, and. Um, and then we can fill in these gaps and things like that. But otherwise, I don't really want to mess with the waterfall too much because it's really nice. Foliage needs a little bit of an adjustment. Let's have a look in here what we've got here. So terrain um, is we need just a little bit more long grass, which we can quite easily do. That's no problem at all. And then as far as in, uh, planting goes, you've got it perfect, to be honest with you. Um, you can have a little bit more coverage, but everything in place is the exact uh, the exact right thing. So uh, we, we'll change it around a little bit, mostly the placement of the tree. I think, but overall that's pretty good as well. Um, so lots of little changes here. I think the biggest change is going to be, as you've said, the roof of the structure, because um, otherwise it's actually looking pretty good. So this this one is 90% of the way there. I think we're just going to have to polish it up a little bit.
Okay, there we go. We took their advice and made it ridge, first of all, <laughs> and also we redid the building here. Uh, I did love the sort of curved thing here, but we don't have that many curved pieces in the game, and we also, also don't have many uh, smaller pieces that we can uh, use to make curves like we've done, been doing with the gazebos. I don't think that would have really tied in to the uh, to the slate roof here, but I really wanted to try and get the sort of North American vibe going. A little tricky to do with the Indian pieces, um, but I think we've done quite well. I think it looked, turned out pretty good. Uh, a little bit of a theme parky vibe going on, you know, a little bit of detail, a little bit of uh, theming. Uh, it doesn't really go amiss, personally. I think it's turned out quite nice, and we've just sort of dressed up the uh, the outside exhibits here. You know, if people don't want to walk in, they can just wander past here and see through the glass. Uh, please bear in mind that the idea with this series is not to just rebuild the whole thing. It's to take what's there and improve on it, okay? So here, I really liked the uh, the extended shelter here for the guests, and I really love the waterfall with, um, with the cave behind. I tell you what, though, you did not do yourself any favours. This was really tricky to make sure that uh, the waterfall... Looked looked both natural from the outside but also didn't stick through the back here there's probably still a couple of little drops here and there and little gaps that I've missed but as I've said before rock work is easily the most time consuming thing in this game so you know if this was uh, my own exhibit I probably would take the rock work all the way around at least down this back wall here um, and remove some of the brick I think probably is the way I would go about it but I think um, I love the waterfall love the stream coming down so really we've just sort of made a feature out of that uh, I've also moved the food over to here and covered it with some rocks this is something I've really enjoyed doing at the moment uh, so we've still got a definitive place that food comes but it's just a little bit worked in and we don't have that sort of big silver square sat there for, uh, for everyone to see and then here we've just placed some uh, some pillars down to break up the glass again maybe um, we could do a little bit more detail here around the bottom rim uh, and also, I don't know what's happening with this path. <laughs> um, you know, that's a tripping hazard right there. So I think if <laughs> uh, babies need some terrain work there to get the path uh, flat before you place it back down again. Um, but yeah, you've got your screens in there as well. A little bit more detail all around. Wouldn't go amiss. But again, this is more to sort of show you how you can make small changes to an easy bit to really sort of get a bit more out of it. Uh, and I think it's turned out pretty well. So Grizzly Ridge, thank you very much for submitting it. Remember, if you would like to submit one, uh, all you have to do is pop it on the workshop with the hashtag PimpMyHabitat. Not sure how many more of these we're going to get through the beta. Uh, uh, but obviously when full release comes we will continue doing them uh, and also then we'll, I'll be able to hopefully place them back on the workshop because at the minute I'm getting crashes when I try and make blueprints so uh, hopefully in the full release I'll be able to fix these up for you and send them back so you can actually get some use out of them uh, other than just the video so thank you so much for watching uh, until the next one be good